हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर अरशद नदीम अवान अल्ट्रासाउंड टीचिंग वीडियोस होप यू आर ऑल ओके होप यू आर ऑल एंजॉइंग एंड लर्निंग अल्ट्रासाउंड टुडे माय टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द फ्लूड विद इन द इंडोमेट्रियल कैविटी मेनी अ टाइम यू कम अक्रॉस विद स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ फ्लूड विद इन द इंडोमेट्रियल कैविटी एंड मेनी अ टाइम यू फॉरगेट दैट टू राइट एंड टू पुट इट ऑन योर रिपोर्ट or sometime you forget to give your differential so it is better to look and to watch this video and hopefully you will be able to understand that what type of a differential you can give on your list and uh, you will have to ask the question related uh, to this uh, abnormalities from the patient and um, uh, shape your uh, differential diagnosis so far the fluid within the endometrial cavity is concerns on the top there may be some congenital abnormalities look for that if there is any vaginal septum or if there is any malarian duct abnormalities so this will give rise to fluid within the uterine cavity or sometime if there is imperforated hymen so the fluid will be in the endometrial cavity beside this there are some other reasons as well like if there is pregnancy so there will be fluid as well and if the patient is currently menstruating so there will be fluid so you have to come you have to differentiate between the pathological processes and the non pathological processes uh, for the uh, fluid within the endometrial cavity if patient is been through recent uh, instrumentation or trauma so again there will be uh, fluid within the endometrial cavity or if there is any uh, uh, radiation patient been through the radiation so you will see there will be fluid within the endometrial cavity the major cause another one if it is moderate uh, degree fluid within the endometrial cavity so there may there likely chance of endometrial or uh, cervical stenosis cervical stenosis endometrial cancer endometrial uh, cervical cancer these are all the obstructing lesion which causes which causes blockage of the external and internal os as a result you will see fluid within the endometrial cavity so these are all the differentials uh, in the next slide you will see all these differentials again with great detail so uh, try to watch this video two or three time to make uh, all these uh, in, uh, informations uh, or to put all these information into your active memory and produce it at times when you need it so let's start watching this video this list shows causes of endometrial fluid uh, many a time when you scanning the patient either trans abdominal or trans vaginal so you may come across small to minimal or moderate fluid within the endometrial cavity there are certain reasons these are the differentials uh, which are responsible for the endometrial fluid it includes congenital abnormalities like if there is imperforated hymen so the fluid or blood will retain in the endometrial cavity or there is vaginal septum like there is septated vagina so still there will be fluid retained within the endometrial cavity or there are certain other mullerian duct abnormality so because of congenital abnormalities you might see endometrial fluid if the patient is currently menstruating so still you will see small fluid or small amount of blood within the endometrial cavity in case of pregnancy there may be endometrial fluid if the pregnancy is in early stage so look for the viability of the pregnancy if there is fluid around so there is likely chance of miscarriage so always look for the viability of the pregnancy if the patient is been through recent instrumentations or trauma so endometrial will show small or minimal or moderate fluid collection within it it will show some infections as well after the radiation there is likely chance of endometrial fluid many a time certain cancers require radiation so post radiation there will be endometrial fluid collection uh, in case of any infection maybe candidiasis or other microbial infections or maybe because of uh, any gonorrheic infection there will be small fluid within the endometrial cavity in case of cervical stenosis 
If there is cervical stenosis due to any reason, maybe because of cancer or because of tumor, or because of polyps or because of radiation, if cervical area is stenosed, internal or external os is closed, so there will be fluid collection within the endometrial cavity and you will see endometrial fluid uh, on the ultrasound imaging. In case of any obstructing lesions, either these obstructing lesion uh, lesions are because of endometrial or because of cervical uh, causes there will be fluid within the endometrial cavity so these are these are the differentials for the fluid within uh, yes friend this was all about the differential diagnosis of the fluid within the endometrial cavity i'm sure this time you will not forget that if you come across any fluid you uh, will definitely mention it on your descriptions and on your in your conclusion as well with the diagnosis uh, try to uh, narrow your diagnosis ask the relevant question from the patient uh, look for the uh, ultrasound images and give your uh, description a shape uh, for the differential diagnosis give differential diagnosis it will help your colleagues so uh, this was all about and i'm sure there is no ambiguity left this time you will be able to give a proper differential diagnosis on your ultrasound reporting keep watching my videos take great care of yourself uh, with the next video we'll see each other till then bye bye